Hello YouTube. How is everybody? I'm going to try to record this process. A brief, it's going to be a brief recording of how I made these. Uh, because it's kind of cold outside and I haven't did too many shorts. And In case someone wants to make one for a family friend, they're pretty good gift and you probably could sell them for 50 bucks a pop you need 27 diamonds that are roughly an inch and a half wide but the angle cut will be one and three quarter on both sides and don't be a dummy like me see this it won't quite work unless you uh, buy a higher dollar clock mechanism that's why I took my plunge router and uh, because I got a bunch of these cut already. The diamonds. And I could buy a four pack of the clock mechanisms. That way, you're not wasting money. Spending eight bucks for a mechanism when you can get it for right at five. But, uh, you know, wall, uh, that's maple frame, walnut frame natural frame but this one is <laughs> i cheated a little bit in case you got a shelf and got someone that wants it for a shelf in their corner office or living room because the wall is too far away to read it all this out of mill wood i mean i just rip it down that's do it. Take 27 pieces of 27 diamonds. You stain of nine of them walnut, nine of them maple. Leave the other nine blank. Glow them up. Give them the best you can. Then. You have the main base right here. Well, right here. See, that's too thick. So I just router in, no plunge router in, and I hope you are understanding what I'm saying. I'm trying to make this a simple project, but on your frames, I just like this piece right here. It's cut long. I take my table saw. I rip off this ledge. Then I take and I number like one, two, three, four, five, six. I make the number match the piece because these are numbered in here. Like that's number five. So if I put that five right there against that. If it it's perfect. You see any gaps? I don't see any gaps. These letterings are half inch. And they have them in gold, silver, and black. I bought all three, but black stands out the best. The process, simply cut your pieces, glue them up after you stain them, of course. Sand your edges. Well, Cut your edge pieces, sand them, 
put the blank in, put the lettering on, uh, numbers on. If you're going to make a this mount like that one, you're going to need to set your saw blade at about 10 degrees. And after you have this frame glued up, simply slide it through your table saw. And I just took some quarter inch piece of this that I have. I made the front. I went crazy on the front. This is for a Christmas gift. And anyway, once I glue it in, put the, well, I got a, I'm going to stain it maple, the frame maple. This is walnut. That's a little bit too dark for my taste. Or nerves. That's walnut right there. That looks pretty good. Just simply glue it up. And this one still needs the clock mechanism taken out. And uh, you can either polyurethane it or uh lacquer well i mean spray yes yeah, spray lacquer or spray shellac either way lacquer and shellac well they will really dry a lot quicker than polyurethane hard to believe all this crap what I got is put me a bar top on this bar. Made that boat. The bottom part of it. And clocks. Y'all take care. Please consider liking, subscribing. I'm going to do a better version of this. I'm just trying to. If anybody wanted a quick idea for an easy Christmas gift, you know, take care. God bless. Please like and subscribe.